Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic functions and I want to talk about graphing logs. Graphing a log is kind of tricky because um, if you start putting in arguments, you're going to get a lot of decimals and I like to do this without a calculator. So what I like to do is I like to do inverses. The thing about inverses is inverse means you switch your x and y around. So the inverse of log base 2 of x is 2 to the power of x. Okay, well 2 to the power of negative 2 is 1 fourth. Why? Well, 2 to the negative 2, that negative means drop it to the denominator, 1 fourth. All right, 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. Anything to the power of 0 is 1, 2, 4, 8. Inverse means your x's become your y's and your y's become your x's. So I've already moved the x's to my y's, but now this becomes 1 fourth, 1 half, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So when I graph this, I have 1 fourth negative 2, I have 1 half negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, and 8, 3. I graph this with a smooth line, and I'm done. I want to add, you know, a bonus here. For an exponential, the domain of an exponential is all real. I have videos on this, um, but an exponential, you can put in any x. An exponential, the range is zero to infinity. It has to be above the x-axis. You can write um, all real here, and you can say f of x is greater than zero. That's fine, it means the same thing. Um, Inverses, x's become y's, y's become x's, which means for, again, this is for the exponential. For the log, they switch. The domain of the log, and we can see it, my x values, are zero to infinity, or x is greater than zero. It doesn't ever touch the y-axis, it doesn't cross it. This becomes an asymptote, a barrier that cannot be crossed, and my range goes forever down and up. My range is all real. So this is for the log. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!